Uh, na tumai tumepata undani ya kazi serikali imefanya na vile vile tumeelemika kwamba katika mradi kuna vipindi vitatu kwamba kuna kuanzishwa kuna kukagua na kuzindua haya mambo ni maana sana ndio mtu ukifuatilia unajua vile 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 ametueleza kwamba we have a government but regimes change mambo ya maana. Kwa hivyo ni wakati wako hapa nafasi ili muulize maswali na tafadhali ningeomba tuwe na swali moja kwa mtu kwa minajili ya kila mtu apate nafasi vile tutaweza. So you only take one uh, give us one uh, question so that you allow others also to ask. Is someone there? Start with you with you begin with your name and the station or the media you come from and straight to your question. Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is John Jacob Kyria from KBC. Um, I have, I know you said to one question, but I will just take two very quickly. One, the relaunching of the projects, as, say, as you said, what is the priority? Um, he launches a project when he's the deputy president, then launches it again when he's president. Will the priority be completing the project or relaunching it? Number two, the numbers you talk about in terms of retirement in the straight out in the next five years talk about 43,000 um, and that really happens through natural attrition. Question is, has the government really done the math on how much it is going to spend in terms of uh, paying pension and other retirement dues within this period? Thank you. Asante sana. Jina langu ni Lena Dwamalo kutoka West TV. Swali langu ni kuhusu mfumo wa ufadhili wa masomo ya juu. E, kumekuwa na changamoto kwa wale wanafunzi ambao wanataka kujiunga na vyuo vikuu, wengine wameanza, wengine watajiunga Juma Lijalo. Labda hakikisho lako ni lipi kwamba manake ule mfumo wa, wa ku, kukata rufaa ama appeal mechanism mwanzoni mwa Juma hili haukuwa unafanya kazi. So kuna hakikisho lipi kwamba hawa wanafunzi ambao labda waliwekwa katika band ambayo ni tofauti e, wataweza kukata rufaa na mambo yao yashughulikiwe hata kabla e, ya wao kujiunga katika vyo vikuu asante jina langu ni mumo kutoka sifa fm swali langu ni je baada ya kukaguliwa ama kuzinduliwa kwa mradi mradi huu unafaa kuchukua muda upi ili kuanza ni mwezi ni wiki yao ni muda upi ambao unafaa ile mradi kuanza shukrani I think you can answer that so fast, then we go to the next one. Asante sana. Um, nafikiri intaanza na JJ hapa. Nafikiri, do you want me to answer you in English or in Kiswahili, my friend? English. In English, okay. The commencing of a project the relaunching of a project that has been stalled and the completion of a project or commissioning. I think the, the whole idea is if a project is stalled and it is relaunched, there's nothing that is as noble as that. In fact, it is a, the, the greatest extent of accountability because projects stall because sometimes you know we have had very serious budgetary challenges because of the huge public debt. So when you see His Excellency the President, you know, making sure that that which had been started is actually moving on, it clearly means there's every intention to ensure that that project is completed and it serves the purpose upon which um, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was conceived for. And I'm saying this, JJ, because there are many, many, many projects that have, you know, equity, if you call it that way, that cannot be released in terms of it being a public good for Kenyans because it's not complete. So what is the need of having a project that is, 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 is not complete and yet it cannot serve the purpose? So when you have it relaunched, when you re-engineer it again, when you redraw the plans, 
there could be headwinds in anything that we do in life. So I think it is very noble, uh, you know, that that be the case. And of course, if then that was something that, for example, the president did when he was a deputy president, he's just, you know, keeping the promise because he's now the commander in chief and the head of government. Um, the other thing that um, you asked about is, um, if you look at uh, consolidation, consolidated financial services around the monies that we are paying to pensioners, it is increasing by the day. The advantage that we have though, is that if you look at our uh, demographics, we have more people at the bottom of the pyramid because we have a youth bulged. I think our median age is 20 years. Uganda is, a, is the youngest country in the world at 19. And so therefore, uh, it is therefore important that we realize that increasingly we will have to be spending more and more as more of ourselves go into retirement. But that is very well catered for, and that is why you see we are encouraging a lot of saving culture, and that's why we have the new NSSF rates, and we've been able to collect more money than the, the, the last 60 years or so since independence. So that will be taken care of. Of course, there is administration of pension and complaints here and there, but that is also being worked out and being streamlined so that people can get uh, their pension uh, real time. So, so that, that is there. But the catch here is that there will be more opportunities for 3,000, uh, uh, 46,000 opportunities uh, for, for, for employment is not something uh, small. And especially if 7,000 of them may be due before the end of this financial year. So I think we encourage uh, young people to seek opportunities uh, within the public service uh, so that then we, they are able also to be uh, given an opportunity to serve their nation. Uh, Leonard, uh, 